information questions, present continuous tense. John is calling his friend Sam. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey Sam, it's John. What are you doing? I'm watching TV. Oh, what are you watching? A hockey game. Oh really? Who's playing? The Leafs and the Senators. Where are they playing? Here, in Toronto. Who's winning? Toronto is four to one. Wow. Look at Sam's answers. Do, the, do his answers begin with yes or no? Do his answers give information? That's right, they give information. So what kind of questions does, Sam, does John ask? That's right, information question. So he says, what are you doing? What are you watching? Who's playing? Where are they playing? And who's winning? And what do we call these words in English? That's right. They are called question words. Let's look at the questions John asks Sam. What are you doing? So, the word what is the question word, so that's what you have first. Then you have the simple present tense of the verb to be, then the subject, then the verb plus ing. What are you watching? Who is playing? Where are they playing? Who is winning? So, number one, question word. Number two, simple present tense of the verb to be. Number three, subject. Number four, the present participle, which is the verb plus ing. And of course, because it's a question, don't forget the question mark. Let's see how to form information questions in the present continuous. First word is question word. Who, what, where, when, what time, why, how. Then we have the verb to be am. Now what is the subject with am? That's right, am I. Then you have the verb, but what do you need at the end of the verb? ing. What am I doing? Then we have the verb to be, are. And when do we use are? Are we? Are you? Are they? What are we doing? What are you doing? What are they doing? And when do we use is? Is he? Is she? Is it? What is he doing? What is she doing? What is it doing? What's very important, don't forget the ing at the end of the verb. You have seen question words before. You have seen question words with the verb to be in the simple present tense and also the simple present tense of all other verbs. You have seen question words for information questions. Now let's review question words. Look at the answer, look at the words in brown, and think of the information question. The subject is you. I'm relaxing. 
What's the question? What are you doing? I'm relaxing. So, what is the word in brown? I'm relaxing. It's a verb. So, when the answer is a verb, the question word used with a verb is what. And then, you need to put the verb do in the question. What are you doing now? I am relaxing. What do you do after school? I relax. I am going to school. What's the question? Where are you going? I'm going to school. School is a place. So the question word for place is where. I'm talking with my friend John. What's the question? Who are you talking with? I'm talking with my friend John. John is a person. So what's the question word? Who? I'm going to Niagara Falls next weekend. What's the question? When are you going to Niagara Falls? I'm going to Niagara Falls next weekend. Next weekend is a period of time, so the question word is when. I'm coming at 7 o'clock. What's the question? What time are you coming? I'm coming at 7 o'clock. Seven o'clock is a time, so when you ask the question, you say, what time? Or you can also say, when? I'm crying because my dog died. What's the question? Why are you crying? I'm crying because my dog died. Because my dog died is a reason. So when you want to know the reason, you ask an information question with the question word, word, why. The man is walking slowly. What's the question? How is the man walking? The man is walking slowly. Slowly is an adverb of manner. It gives us more information about the verb walk. So, what's the question word? How? I'm taking the bus. What's the question? are you getting here? I'm taking the bus. When you want to ask what kind of transportation a person is using to get or to go somewhere, you use the question word, how? I'm staying four days in Montreal. What's the question?
How long are you staying in Montreal? I'm staying four days in Montreal. So we have a quantity or and with the quantity we can say how long or how many days. You can use how long are you staying or how many days are you staying in Montreal. About 24 people are coming to the party. What's the question? How many people are coming to the party? About 24 people are coming to the party. So here we have a quantity, we have a number with a count noun, people. So the question word is, how many people? Remember, you need to put the noun after the question word, how many people? How many days? How many children?